Um, I realized that my uh, d my cloth diapering video from a few months ago was one of my most reviewed videos. So I am here to do an updated video, um, kind of like how we've transitioned the cloth diapers into my ten, almost 10 month old um, son's routine. He's playing on the floor. So if I look down or talk to the floor, that's what's happening. But um, obviously at 10 months, he's eating solids. Um, he's sleeping through the night and um, overall lifestyle has changed so I just want to show you our updated routine I'm gonna try to show you how I store them and just how my overall like changing goes I no longer change him on the changing table uh, which is like the dresser right here he's too mobile um, and strong and he rolls so I have moved the changing pad to the floor. Um, it's in this, actually on the ground in this little tent. And uh, I put him on there so that way if I'm doing something or throwing something away or putting a diaper together, he doesn't roll off the table. So that's the first thing. I change him on the floor now. Um, I have learned even especially this week to be careful with how long he has a diaper off because he does pee on the floor. But these are a couple things. So I'm still using the Alva Baby um, cloth diapers. These are from Amazon. In total, right now, we have purchased four packs of six diapers. So I have 24 diapers. Um, there are solid colors like this. This is just a white one. And then there's the printed ones. I have found, and this might just be my personal experience, I don't know if this is a truth, but I have found that the printed ones tend to be a little more, um, like they are a little more protective. It's, it's almost like this printed fabric is a little more waterproof, just by a little tiny bit. So um, I try to put him in these overnight if I have them clean. It's not a huge difference. I will put him in a solid color overnight if that's what I have. Um, but if I have the option, I will choose the printed one because it seems like there's less leak throughs. But um, again, each one comes with two of these microfiber inserts. Now, one of the key things that I have learned for overnights, because my son goes to bed anywhere between like 7 and 8.30, um, 7.30, 8.30, and he gets up anywhere between 6 and 7.30 in the morning. So sometimes he's in his room sleeping for 12 hours on and off. I might get up and feed him once or once in the night. I don't, not even twice anymore, once. And usually it's so quick. Um, I keep the room really dim. I don't talk to him and I just feed him and then put him back. So changing a diaper is just not gonna happen because it's gonna wake him up and I wanna keep him awake for less than 10 minutes. So I don't change the diaper at night and I have found that a couple times when he does have that 12 hour span that he will pee through the diaper. So I've tried a couple things, which I'll get to, but I have learned that at nighttime he needs three of these inserts. So it's slightly bulkier than the daytime, which is two, but I find that he needs that absorbency. So in an ideal situation, when I put him to bed, I will use a printed diaper. I will stuff it with three microfiber inserts and it usually gets me through the night. Sometimes he does pee through, but um, my thought with that was it was, the, it was the cloth diapers, like the absorbency just was not what I had expected and could not handle the overnights. So. I bought some disposables because I thought that they would do a better job. These are the Hello Bellows. Um, it's a line that you can pick up at Walmart. It's all like low chemical, no, you know, all the bad stuff. Um, and I sized up, like I did a bunch of research and I found that sizing up at night uh, can usually help with the absorbency a little bit because it gives a little extra space. So these are a size four. He's kind of more in like a three. Um, and it did nothing. So he peed through these so fast. So 
so what I learned was the nights that he is peeing through his diapers, he's just peeing a lot. Um, he might have two bottles or nurse before bed and he just pees a lot. So if I have to change the bed sheet and the mattress cover, it has nothing to do with the cloth versus the disposable. So I have an entire pack of these and like I was mentioning in my other video, the commitment to cloth diapers does not have to be 100%. And I think that's where people get really overwhelmed with the idea if you are cloth diapering your child, then you can't use disposable diapers. Like that is not the case whatsoever. I have two packages of these now and traveling with them is much easier. You can see they're much less bulky. Um, they fold up really, really tiny. So they fit better into the diaper bag. And um, some people, like if you have a babysitter or you do a daycare or, you know, like any situation where it's not you changing your child's diaper, maybe the disposables are easier because um, that person might just be more comfortable with it. It's just easier for them. So if you're dropping them off at daycare and they go through five diapers in the day and you want to do disposables, that's fine. Send them with disposables. And then when they get home, you can do cloth diapering at home. It's still going to cut your cost way down. It's still going to cut down on the amount of chemicals that are exposed to your child. And it's still going to cut down on the waste, which are the three main reasons that people cloth diaper. So, um, you know, if your kid was going through six diapers a day and three of them were disposable and three of them were cloth, that's still so much better than six disposables um, or even two disposables and four cloths, whatever. You get what I'm saying. So don't feel as though you have to commit 110% to cloth. If you want to put your kid in the disposable overnight, go for it. You know, I just have found that um, we love the cloth. Uh, the routine fits into my lifestyle in terms of washing. I wash like every other day. It's sometimes every third day. And I went over that in my other video, but I'll touch on it quick um, when I show you my little setup here. So um, three microfibers at night. We have 24 diapers, which means, um, so he's 10 months. He goes through about five or six diapers a day. So it gives me about three days worth of diapers. And then um, my bin is usually pretty full. So like as I'm washing the day, cause it takes a long time to wash them. Um, I'll review my washing cycle, but it takes a while to wash them. So um, I have like a surplus enough to get through that day. So four packs, each pack is around, around like 40 to $50. So all in all, I have spent less than $200 um, on all the diapers that I use. And these will carry through to when we potty train him because they grow with him, the snaps, um, you know, you can size adjust. So he'll wear these until he's potty trained when he's like three. And hopefully um, the quality will last through my other kids. Um, so far, I have had no problems with getting them clean. As you can tell, they are stuffed inside the diaper, but the stains are non-existent and these do, do not stain either. Um, the snaps are still intact. So we're good in that case. So if I spend $200 on diapers for my children, I'm that's like crazy. Um, so what else? Okay, the liners. These are what we're using for liners. His poop is completely solid now. Um, he still breastfeeds. Um, I give him formula during the day or when he's under care with like a sitter. Um, or traveling sometimes just depends like if we're in the car uh, But he's eating solid. So his poop is completely solid. So these are the um, Biodegradable bamboo liners that I get from Amazon. They come in a big pack like this There's two rolls and I think that it's like 12 or 13 dollars for the two of them each diaper that I put on him gets one of these and um, whether or not he poops, I take it out and throw it away. This could go in a compost. Um, if you have a compost pile or wherever you want to, um, I don't know if they're flushable. I haven't tested that out. They are biodegradable, but I don't know if they're flushable. So I would check 
um, whichever ones you buy because on Amazon there's all different ones and they will say flushable if they're flushable. But basically it goes inside of the diaper just like this. So when I'm laying him down flat, um, these microfibers are inside the diaper so they're not touching him, he's touching this part. And then I simply lay this sheet right in like that. These are very, very soft. You, he almost, you can't even feel them. It's not like toilet paper. It's not like very, very soft, almost like silky fabric. And it lays right in there like that, right? So then I would put the diaper on him and snap it up like that. It's right inside. And then if he poops, when you open the diaper, you just grab this and, and the poopy is in there. And so what I do um, through trial and error, this is working best for us. I keep a very small garbage can on, pff, I gotta change it, on top of the dresser here with all my other supplies and I just drop the entire thing right in there and I throw it away. I will change this little um, bag probably every other day because he poops about twice a day, so there's two little poops in there. And um, to prevent the room from getting stinky because there's no top on it, um, I, these are the little bags that I put in, just little like mini trash can bags, but you could also use uh, grocery store bags. But with, uh, you may not have grocery store bags because if you use reusable um, store bags, then you won't have those, but it's a, also a good way to use them up if you have them. Um, with COVID, I've been getting a lot of grocery delivery, so we don't have the option to use the um, reusable bags because when I shop in the store, I always use reusable bags. But um, we have quite a surplus now because they deliver the groceries in the bags. But anyways, this is what I prefer to use, which is just mini trash can bags. So I will change that like every other day. Sometimes there's like four poops in it, but they're small. And if the room starts, if I walk in the door and I smell it, I just immediately just take it out to the, the garbage can. So that's how we're dealing with poop. Um, just want to remind you, I did buy this, but I haven't used it. This is the toilet sprayer. And some people will not use the liners, just let their baby poop right into the diaper and then take the diaper in the bathroom and dump the poop into the toilet and flush it, which seems like it would be really simple to do because the poops are pretty solid but every now and again you're gonna have a wetter poop or the kids gonna have like diarrhea and in that case you would have this little thing either attached to your slop sink or attached to the back of your toilet or your shower head and you're just gonna spray the diaper and get most of the poop off before you put it in your hamper I have not needed to use this yet because these liners have been amazing if the kid doesn't poop in the diaper um, you just chuck it. It's just got pee on it and it's just wet. I mean, I suppose you could just leave it in there, but I don't. I put a clean one in each time I change his diaper. So um, if there's no poopy, I just take it out and I put it in the garbage. So that's how we're dealing with that. Um, for traveling, um, these are the bags that I use. I didn't purchase anything special. I already had these. These are from a company called 31 and they were... Um, Something that were, I think I bought one and one was given to me. They have like a waterproof lining. Um, you can do a million things with these bags. I think before I was using them for cloth diapers, I would um, transport wet bathing suits back from the beach. Um, you could travel with your lingerie in them. Like you could put your dirty panties and bras in them for travel um, but they have that kind of lining you can also get them customized which is cool mine happen to say my name just because I bought them for like regular use but if you were getting going with cloth diapers you could you could have this written on here to say dirty diapers so you know um, you could also have one that says clean diapers and that way in your diaper bag you can organize them that way but if we are traveling or out of the house and I change his diaper and it's dirty I just ball it up like this and I just put it into this bag bring it home and then all of it goes into my hamper including this bag so I don't like put this back in my diaper bag dirty I run it through the washer because it's had pee in it it won't have poop in it because you've tossed the poop away but it will have pee pee diapers in there so I run this through 
So, um, let me just show you. Oh, let me show you the storage first. So, this is how I store my cloth diapers. Literally this bin. It, this is just a plastic bin that I think I either got at like Target or Walmart. It was probably $4. Um, it seems to be a good size. And when the diapers come out of the um, laundry, this is what they look like. Just a, just a big laundry basket full of diapers. And I'll show you what I do. So I... I just take all of these microfiber liners and I line them up like this and I make a pile and I put them in the bottom. So I guess we have 48 of these because each diaper comes with two. So they just go right in there in the bottom. And then, so all of them go in there. And then I take the, the liner, the outside, and I place them right on top. So I just kind of like pile these up like this, just make a stack, and usually there's like 15 or so. I just stack them up and I place them right on top. So when I'm going to change his diaper, this is what I do. I bring him into his room, I put him on the little changing pad. If it's daytime, I'll just grab two of these. I'll grab one of the liners, um, and then I'll grab one of these little things off the roll. Then I'll grab the wipes in the little garbage pail, and I'll go sit down on the ground. I'll take, whoops, I, I will take off his dirty diaper and put it to the side. If there's a poopy in it, I will drop the poopy into the dirty garbage can. I will wipe and put the wipes in there. And then um, I just do it on the fly really quickly. Um, but what I used to do when I started doing this was I would pre-stuff all these diapers. I just, right now with the stage of chasing him around, I don't have time to do that. So right before, oh, and sometimes I use three at night and during the day I use two. Um, so I want to kind of customize the diaper that I'm putting on him. And if I do it ahead of time, I have to like check. So, so it's daytime. I know I'm going to change him. I'm just going to slide two microfibers in there. And you can see how just quick that is. So I'm sitting right on the ground and I do it. There they are, they're in there. So there's two. I'll lay this right on top. I'll lay him down, put it on, we're done. Um, so the dirty diaper goes in here. So this is what my pail looks like. It's just a simple 13 gallon garbage can. I have it labeled because like I said, I have babysitters sometimes. Um, dirty cloth diapers go in here. You can see there's some in there. And the bag that I use looks like this. This is from Amazon. This is um, designed for dirty diapers. It's almost like a, a waterproof lined laundry bag. And I have two of them. So the other one should be, yep, it's right in here. Here it is. And see how it's inside out? So I do that on purpose because I run it through the washing machine with the diapers each time. Um, so when I do the diapers, I'll just review my, my wash cycle just because I might have tweaked it a little bit. I pull this whole thing out of the hamper. I bring it down to my washing machine. I dump all the diapers in. You want to make sure when you put the diapers into the hamper that you pull these inserts out. So like each time you change the diaper, you pull them out and you drop everything in there. But you don't want to wash them with these inserts in because it won't get as clean. So um, I dump the whole bag into the washing machine and then I take the bag, which is stinky, right? Because they've there's been like pee sitting in it for two days. And I don't put my hand in it like this, yuck. I push it up like this. And I turn it inside out and I drop it into the washing machine. Um, I wash the diapers two heavy duty cycles. Now this is what um, Fluff Love University recommended to for my washing machine because I specifically looked up the detergent that I used, the washing machine that I have, and um, it tells you exactly what your wash cycle should be. So I put the bag in there with the diapers. Oh, and if you've traveled, you would put these in there too. You can turn them inside out and run them through the washer. Um, I run mine, the first cycle I use um, cold water because I want to remove any stains um, that are in the 
diapers with a microfiber. Cold water on heavy duty, and I do an extra rinse. Um, I use Arm & Hammer, just plain Arm & Hammer detergent, um, and then I use OxyClean. The OxyClean for me has helped keep everything nice, bright white, and it also keeps everything smelling like super fresh. You would have no idea that there was pee and poop sitting on these for days at a time. And honestly, if I'm on like the third day, the pee has sat and it's it's got that ammonia smell. So like I really want to get that out. I, I don't want his room to smell like pee or poop. And it doesn't um, with this system. So first cycle is heavy duty. Um, I sprinkle OxyClean on the diapers right directly in the wash. I use Arm & Hammer and I do an extra rinse on cold water. So it's 90 minutes. Then once it's done, I go back down. I put um, OxyClean, I put detergent, I run it on heavy duty with um, hot water. And I usually do an extra rinse. It, the extra rinse is just an extra like 15 minutes. Like they just fill it up with water again and spin it and then drain it again. So with the OxyClean, I don't want any sort of residue, but um, I may not do an, an uh, extra rinse both times. If I wasn't using the OxyClean, I guess that's up to you. But the second time I do it with hot water and that's gonna like sterilize um, and really just get everything super nice and clean. So they've run through twice. I take them out with the bag um, and I put everything in the dryer on low for 80 minutes. I do not use a dryer sheet or a dryer ball. Um, I have found that these do not get staticky. They don't stick together. Um, there's barely any lint whatsoever, almost none. And I don't want the dryer sheet to leave a residue on the microfiber so eventually they aren't like absorbing as well. So I put them on low for 80 minutes and the low is so that the quality of the seams and the snaps and everything don't get like worn down over time. Um, it just keeps everything in better shape. So low for 80 minutes and then I bring the basket up here just like you saw. I'll fold this bag and put it away and usually it's kind of like an off day. So today now I have tons of diapers and as you saw in the container there's only like half a day or one day's worth. So I won't wash diapers for like two days now. Um, and I will just put them away, put this little bag away and, um, let's see, just pile all these little things up. Um, I think that was all I was going to talk about. Was there anything else? Overnights, organization, um, the garbage, the disposables. I didn't mind the disposables, but they didn't work any better. And... Again, the box of these was like $25, which for $42 or $50, you can get diapers that you can use for years. Like, it just seems so weird to me to toss this entire diaper every time because I'm so not used to doing that. But I barely ever use them. So um, Amazon for the things. I will link all of this. I'll link the diapers, the liners, um, the disposables that I use. I'll post um, the detergent, the travel bags, and I will write my um, where I get my wash cycle, Fluff Love University. So you can click that. You can look up your washer. And that's pretty much it. We are loving, loving cloth diapers. Uh, my son, he has a little bit of, I, I'm not really sure if it's even a rash right now, but a little sensitivity, I guess you could say, a little rawness in like a couple spots. It could be um, more of like an allergy to something he ate or it's uh, it's honestly been really, really hot where I live and humid. Um, so it, it could have been that. I took him for a walk one day a couple days ago. So we've had no diaper rash, um, zero sensitivities um, to anything regarding the diapers and there's no chemicals, which just makes me so happy. It's basically like laundry. You're just putting laundry on your kid. Um, and these things are just completely natural, bamboo, biodegradable, very soft little things. So um, we totally love it. And um, the final thing I'll say is uh, diaper rash cream. If you do end up with diaper rash, because of course that can happen regardless of the cloth diapers. Um, we use the butt paste and the yellow butt paste is okay for disposable diapers 
Um, if that's all you have, then use disposable diapers for four or five days while you're clearing up the diaper rash. Um, but the butt paste comes in a green version and that can be used uh, against a cloth diaper so it won't affect the absorbency of the material. So I hope that helps. Um, the, the situation, the diaper situation is very, very different from a newborn to like six months and then you know, now that we've transitioned into longer nights, so more wear in the diapers and um, solid foods, uh, things have changed a little bit. So the routine is working great for us. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but again, strongly consider, strongly consider the cloth diapering. It's great for the environment. Um, it's great for your wallet. It's great for your kids, tiny. And we love it. So I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.